Hey y'all, this is Azure Every Day and I'm Christopher Furless, Senior Principal Architect over here at Pragmatic Works. Uh, today I'm excited to talk about a newly created service tier in Azure SQL Database called Hyperscale Service Tier. Okay, The Hyperscale Service Tier is a highly scalable storage and compute performance tier that leverages the Azure architecture to scale out resources for Azure SQL Database substantially beyond the current limitations of general purpose and business critical service tiers. The hyperscale service tier in ADB provides the following additional capabilities, right? So now they have support for up to 100 terabytes of database size, and this is going to grow over time. They have faster large database backups, which are based on uh, file snapshots. They have faster database restores, which are based on file snapshots as well. Um, they have higher overall performance due to higher log throughput and faster transaction commit times, regardless of the data volumes, right? So no matter how much data there is, it's going to be faster because of the way that they have separated the storage and um, the compute. We'll talk about that more in a minute. There's also this ability to rapidly scale out. You can provision one or more read-only nodes for offloading your read workload and for use as hot standbys. Okay, You can rapidly scale up. right? Basically, in constant time, you can scale up your compute resources to accommodate heavy workloads. So right? when you need them, then you can scale the compute resources up and then back down when you don't need them anymore, right? So very similar to Azure Data Warehouse in that way. Um, so what, you know, who should consider moving over to hyperscale tier, right? Because it's it's definitely not inexpensive, we'll, we'll, we'll say that, right? But customers who have large databases and, you know, haven't been able to use Azure Database in the past because of the fact that um, it had a four terabyte limit, um, you know, would be a great uh, would be a great use case for this. Also, customers who saw performance and scalability limitations um, with the other two service tiers would also be great targets. Um, this is you know designed primarily for transactional or OLTP workloads. However, you know it also supports hybrid and OLAP workloads. Um, but you know, let's keep that in mind, right? As as we're designing out our databases in our in our services. Uh, one thing to note is that Elastic pools do not support the hyperscale service tier. Okay, um, so you know, as you're again when you're designing these out, keep that in mind. So how does this all get accomplished, right? Uh, basically, you separate out the compute and storage, similar to that of Azure Data Warehouse, into four separate nodes, right? You've got a compute node where the relational engine lives, or you know, you could say where the querying processing happens, right? Um, you've got a page server node where the scaled out storage engine resides and where database pages are served out to the compute nodes on demand and keeps pages updated as transactions update data, okay? So you've got these page server nodes spread across and they're moving the data around for you. You've got the log service node where the log records are kept from the compute node uh, as, they, as they come in from the compute node and kept in a durable cache. Then they're forwarded along to additional compute nodes and caches to ensure consistently. When all that's all spread out and everything is uh, uh, consistently spread across all the compute nodes, finally it gets stored in Azure Storage uh, for the long-term storage of your logs. Lastly, the Azure Storage node is where all the data is pushed from the page servers. So all the data that eventually lands um, in the database that is there um, statically, if you will, uh, gets pushed over to Azure Storage. And this is also the storage that's used for backups. And, um, you know, it's where the replication between availability groups happens. So uh, this is an exciting new opportunity for those customers who didn't have uh, the, the requirements fulfilled with prior service tiers. And so uh, definitely worth checking out. It's, um, uh, you know, uh, another great offering from Microsoft, and uh, you know it helps to leave a, a line of distinction between Azure Data Warehouse and Azure Database uh, because now you've got these huge abilities to uh, scale out and scale up and, and tons of data, uh, but it's still. 
built for the transactional processing as opposed to ADW, which is going to be more the analytical processing, more of that massively parallel processing um, scenario. So uh, really exciting stuff. Check it out. If you got any questions, uh, hit us up here at Pragmatic Works. Click the link below. Uh, we'll definitely get back to you. And uh, otherwise, have a great day. And thanks for listening.